Hello friends, do you love nature? How often do you go out of town? I for one love nature, especially in the summer, so we often have picnics with family somewhere in the forest or near a lake. We also like to go fishing on our boat. So did the people from our story today. They decided to spend a day in nature, but fate had a huge surprise waiting for them. This story unfolded in the USA on Marshmiller Lake in Wisconsin. It was the weekend and the Hurt family were fishing off their boat and enjoying nature. Then, suddenly they noticed something in the lake that looked nothing like fish. They weren't entirely sure what creature it was at first because its head was stuck in a plastic tub. But looking closely, they realized that it was a baby bear. The family immediately got to rescuing the animal. But helping the poor creature was not an easy task as the bear cub was frightened and swam away quickly. Nevertheless, the family caught up with the bear and removed the tub from its head. It's scary to even think what would have happened to the bear if they hadn't helped it. Trisha Hart posted a video of their adventures on Facebook. Never dreamt we would ever do this in our lifetime. Out on Marshmiller Lake yesterday with Brian Hart and Brady Hart when we spotted this poor bear. He made it to shore after all that, Trisha Hart wrote. And our next story happened near Kenogami Lake, Ontario, Canada. Local residents noticed a small bear cub with its head stuck in a plastic bucket. They tried to help the animal, but the bear kept running away. So they turned to professional rescuers for help. It took the rescuers a few days to track down the poor cub. Thus, the little bear spent four days with a container on its head. Eventually, it climbed a tree trying to flee its rescuers and then jumped off into the water, after which one of the rescuers caught it and took the bucket off. The bear cub was sent to a local closed nature reserve and it will be released into the wild next year. Both of these cases ended well, thanks to the kind people, but such situations end up being fatal for many animals. Plastic inflicts irreparable damage to all living things. In the last 10 years alone, more plastic products have been produced in the world than in the previous century. Disposable dishes, bags, packaging, bottles and various containers are the most common types of plastic waste that's being produced every day. Only 5% of its volume is ultimately recycled and reused. Every day we make a choice. We choose whether to buy water in a glass or in a plastic bottle, whether to take disposable plates on a picnic or reusable ones, whether to use a shopper or buy plastic shopping bags. Concern for the environment or personal convenience? What we choose shows the level of our self-awareness. Of course, it takes several years to teach society to be environmentally friendly. The less plastic we all use in our daily lives, the faster the manufacturers will reduce the volume of its production. We shouldn't choose disposable plastics only because it's cheaper, as many plastic items can be replaced with reusable items made from more environmentally friendly materials. It is likely that we'll be able to turn the tide in a few years and stop or at least slow down the onset of the ecological disaster. There are also other options regarding the pollution issues. Some scientists believe that irreversible changes have already happened to our planet. We're facing a shortage of drinking water, global warming, and other things that will eventually make Earth unsustainable for human life. Some of them even suggest focusing on finding new planets sustainable for human life, instead of looking for new ways to save the Earth. However, ethical concerns aside, it still seems that this path isn't strategically reasonable. It seems much easier to fix and take proper care of your beautiful and well-equipped house than to build and move into a new one. And now to distract ourselves a little from the problems, another story featuring a cute bear. A family from Pennsylvania ordered dog food delivery, but one box went missing. They used the video from a surveillance camera to figure out how it disappeared. It turned out that a bear cub had stolen the pack of dog food from the porch. The fact that the box was almost as big as the bear itself didn't stop the furry criminal. 
What's interesting is that the company that produces dog food saw this video and offered the family to compensate them for their losses caused by the little bear. And that's all for today, friends. Let us know what you think about this episode in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.